Hi, this is Pat Pallison and I'm going to show you uh, a little glimpse of the Minecraft mod that I've created called uh, Forcecraft that integrates uh, with Salesforce. So it allows you to visualize business data in 3D uh, in Minecraft. So uh, let's have a look. I'm going to click single player and say I'm going to create a new world. Change to creative mode and create new world. So what's happening now is it's just uh, Minecraft starting as usual. I'm actually running uh, Minecraft Forge, which allows me to create these modifications or mods um, from Eclipse. So you can see Eclipse in the background and you can see some debug output at the bottom. And right now I'm just in uh, kind of vanilla Minecraft. There's, I guess, some pigs over there. I seem to be in a forest uh, with some snow. Um, but what I'm going to do is say slash login and what's going to happen is it's going to switch to uh, the Forcecraft dimension. Now if you can probably see there at the bottom if you've got enough resolution a whole bunch of names popped up spawning contact and then a bunch of names and uh, here we are in a dimension in Minecraft with a building for each of the accounts that is in uh, my org so it's a demo um, or rather a developer edition org so you might be familiar with some of these names what do we got here we've got gene point uh, let's have a look at this guy over here see who we've got and this is oh it's Edna Frank so uh, in fact it's a lady but this is uh, the, the, it's uh, it's a Minecraft villager with its own AI. They tend to wander around. So this is one of the contacts in my org. Each contact has one of these villagers created for it. If I go back to Gene Point, um, running around here, going to open the door. Then uh, I look inside, and we can see that each account has um, multiple levels, and each level. Uh, is associated with an opportunity. So here's Gene Point SLA. If I uh, go up th these steps up to the next level, I can say this one. See, this one is uh, what is it? Gene Point Lab Generators. Is there another one? Uh, this one is Gene Point Standby Generator. Okay, so these are opportunities on the Gene Point account and if we have a closer look here we can see that there is a sign for each uh, stage so perception analysis proposal price quote this one's already set to closed one so um, let's have a quick look at it in a regular uh, Salesforce what's this uh, gene point standby generator so uh, here's my uh, recent opportunities I can actually just search here Gene point standby should give us it. Uh, there we go. There's the opportunity. As you can see, it's closed one. Let's have a look here, see what happens now when we change it to say uh, back to negotiation review. Okay, maybe uh, we were a little premature with that. Okay, I'm going to press save, go back really quickly here. And did you see that? What we've got is a connection to Salesforce. So not only are we reading the state of the opportunity and setting the switch, but when we update it in Salesforce via the streaming API, we're getting a notification to flick that switch. And let's have a look what happens when we uh, say closed one here. So we flick that switch and what should happen? Oh, that he, he, he ran away, but um, that contact came by. Uh, there's a message here. Opportunity closed for 85,000. I've got eight gold, I think, and five redstone. I've got a, um, an exchange set up between the Minecraft precious materials and dollars. And if we go back, we remember we flicked it here to closed one. If we go back to Chrome and uh, refresh here, we should see the stage. The stage has, has changed to closed one. So we have, uh, we're reading data from uh, Salesforce setting up this world setting up these levers we are um, subscribing to the streaming API so when we make changes in Salesforce I can show you that again quickly I change this back to I don't know let's change it to perception analysis 
save, go back really quickly, and you can see it's almost uh, the, the streaming API is very high performance these days, almost faster than I could tab back. It's it's flicked that switch, and again, if we uh, flip it from here, we uh, it updates in the um, in the org, and also we get uh, we have a a events actions happening in the. Uh, in the Minecraft world and again if I refresh here it's back to closed one so there we go a lot of fun uh, building this I'm sure you can think of plenty of uh, fun things to do things you could hook up between Salesforce and Forcecraft there's uh, well really no limit if you're if you've got custom objects you wanted to represent in this world in this way um, lots of uh, lots of fun things that uh, you can get done if you've got any thoughts let me know in the blog comments and uh, yeah thanks for watching happy new year